Hey, it's Alex here. So I want to do a quick video on my latest article, which is all about how toxins are making us fat and not only sick and everything like that, but they're literally making us fat and making it harder for us to lose fat. So, um, anyway, yes, I am in my garage and this is my squat rack and my gardening stuff over this side, but, uh, this is where I came to, uh, debrief after I finished typing up this article. So this article is all about how environmental pollutants, um, chemicals in our food, in our waterways, uh, in our air, in, in the air, and um, plastics we use, all these sort of things are creating issues around weight gain and, and issues around losing that weight. Um, so I go into the, how the body has a protective mechanism in place where if it's if it's overcome with toxins, like, I mean, the, the burden on the liver, for instance, our, um, our first line of defense when it comes to these, dealing with these toxins, if, if the load is too great and the body can't process them, there's a mechanism in place where it will shunt these toxins away to be stored in fat. It will literally be stored in, in body fat tissue. And, um, yeah, this is a pr um, protection mechanism uh, for the body to, to protect our ourselves you know from these toxins coming in but unfortunately what happens is if the toxin load is too high then it can generate a lot of toxins stored in body fat um which is unsightly and you know a lot of people don't want their body fat so uh the problem is that if we don't reduce the toxin load coming into our body whether it's through diet uh, water or through pollutants and, and environment we live in then um the body was ne is never going to be able to clear that backlog and which is why you often see like skinny fat people or people who are genetically blessed um, to be nice and lean start developing little fat pockets or you know fat under the arms or around the belly um, in the later years of life and so it's a it's a two-pronged attack I mean you've got toxins coming in which the body, body can't deal with but also of course these toxins are damaging to our health and um, you know, they are, for instance, glyphosate, which is a common pesticide um, or herbicide, it can uh, or it causes irreversible liver damage. So not only are these toxins creating a, a lot of processing for the liver, but they're damaging the liver or da damaging the body, which means we can't process, the body can't process as many of these toxins. So it's, it's like this uh, double whammy sort of effect. So anyway, in this article, I go into how our toxin load is creating body fat which is a storage site for these toxins and how even going on calorie deficient diets, you know, going out and exercising and then eating less doesn't necessarily mean you're going to clear out these toxins, right? These store toxins. So what you really need to do is work with the body, fix health, reduce toxin load, um, support the body's detoxification processes, etc. And that is how you'll start ridding yourself of these uh, stored toxins. Another thing I touch on in the article is um, how Often you'll hear about people who will go from a conventional uh, diet, you know, junk food and all that jazz, and then they'll decide to clear their diet up and they'll start eating organic and at the same time they'll start training and, and doing all these good things. And then what happens is a couple of weeks in, they, they start losing a bit of weight, but then all of a sudden they get sick and tired and lethargic, brain fog, you know, maybe they come out with rashes, fever, all these sort of things. Like they literally get sick. And um, some people joke, it's like you're... A, a reaction to the organic diet and in a way it is I mean what's happening now is the body body's capabilities of handling these stored toxins has improved which means that those stored toxins in the body fat are released into the bloodstream and um, dealt with and unfortunately this has an effect on the body as if we had just ingested all these toxins um, so that's why you know people can sort of suffer so it's something you got to be wary of if you are going into an extreme you know detoxification protocol or even just to clean up your diet and just going on like a, a fat loss protocol it's why i always suggest a longer term approach you know balancing rest and stress and and um, making sure the body can handle you know these these released toxins that, that are going to be released from the body fats that you know may have been stored there many years ago uh so again i cover all this in the article i also look at the uh common sources of toxins and i've got a free uh report which you can access that looks at um common toxins in our environment and diet and how you can reduce them and also ways you can naturally um, support your body's detoxification system. So there'll be a link for that below. But yeah, enjoy the report. Uh, sorry, enjoy the blog article. It is a little bit lengthy, but um, you go into a lot of details there. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope 
it shows to you that there is more to fat loss than just exercising and eating less. So that's all for me. Enjoy and please leave your feedbacks below.